Hello. We are going to start with those high frequency words. The first word is again. Point to the word and say it with me. Again. The word again is spelled A-G-A-I-N. Spell it with me. A-G-A-I-N. And when we look at the word or the picture, the word that shows again, uh, it looks like this woman will have to make the pizza again. Okay, then we have the word help. Point to it and say it with me, help. The word help is spelled H-E-L-P. Spell it with me, H-E-L-P. Let's look at the picture that shows the word help. The man and his son seem to be looking for an address. The police woman is, uh, is going to help. She's pointing to the way. It's down the street, she says. All right, the next word is new. Point to and say the word new with me, new. The word new is spelled N-E-W. Spell it with me, N-E-W. Let's look at the picture. The children did not have this teacher before. He is a new teacher. All right. Uh, the next word is there. Point to and say the word with me, there. The word there is spelled T-H-E-R-E. -E. Spell it with me. T-H-E-R-E. -E. Let's look at the picture. Remember the bag? Look at all the mail in the bag. The mail carrier has a lot of mail in there. It's got a lot of work to do. The final word is use. Point to the word and say it with me. Use. The word use is spelled U-S-E. Spell it with me, U-S-E. Let's look at the picture that shows the word use. You can use this machine to pick up rocks. All right, let's take a look at our story. Ben brings the mail. Okay, I like this story. I, I read it right before I came to read it with you guys because I wanted to look for those high frequency words, the ones we just went over. Uh, this story uh, shows that it is a realistic fiction. Remember the uh, realistic fiction tells a story about pretend characters that uh, do real life things. Um, it is written by Arlene Block and illustrated by Diane Patterson. All right, let's take a look. I did find our high frequency word there and highlighted it. Remember, if you uh, want to highlight your word whenever you read it in the story, I went to this little button up here and then I clicked on the word and you can pick your color. You can put it in yellow. You can also, oh, I said red last time, but it's pink. Or you can choose green. Let's see what the green looks like. Oh, very pretty. Uh, I used I used yellow with all of these, but you use what color you want to use. Ben will stop here. He has a big job to do. There is a lot of mail. Reminds me of our high frequency word picture with the other man that had a lot of mail. And again, that's just shows us our realistic fiction. The man in the real picture with our high frequency word, he had a big bag of mail and so does this man. Uh, so Ben, he stops the mail truck. He gets out to do his job. He brings mail to the people and there's a lot of mail. I mean, look at his back, lots of work to do. Uh, we meet our first character and it is Ben and uh, he's a mail carrier and I see that he drives a mail truck and that's how he gets from place to place. Uh, it looks like I right now he, he stopped, he parked the mail truck and he's walking down the block. I've seen some of our mail people do that too. Hello, Miss Deb, says Ben. 
here is a letter for you. Okay, I'm gonna stop right there because I want you to take a look at these quotation marks right there. Uh, remember, those are Ben's exact words. That's exactly what he said. He says, hello, Ms. Deb. He also says, here is a letter for you. Those are his exact words. The letter makes Miss Deb glad. Okay. Uh, so Ben, he stopped the mail truck and um, he is the mail carrier. Um, he's walking down the street, delivering the mail. He says, hello to Miss Deb. He gives her a letter and the letter makes Miss Deb happy. Look at her smiling. And, and, and then I see this little speech bubble. Do you see this right here? Uh, in her mind, she's thinking about, I'm thinking it's probably her granddaughter because right here, the mail is addressed to grandma. Um, so she's thinking about her granddaughter in this little speech bubble. And uh, of course, I see that she's happy, this Miss Deb. Uh, before he gave her the letter over here, I see Miss Deb is planting flowers in the picture. So she was busy working in the yard. Uh, remember the setting is where the story takes place. If I go ahead and I look at the setting in our picture, um, I see that our the story takes place in a neighborhood and uh, the neighborhood has flowers and bushes. I, I even see some trees. You see the bushes, the trees, and Miss Deb here, she has her flowers. Uh, there's a sidewalk, I see the street. Um, I'm going to say that this story takes place either in the spring or the summer because the trees have uh, leaves and the flowers are blooming and we don't usually see that in the winter. For example, if I look outside right now, there's no leaves on the trees and also, uh, I'm, I don't know about you guys, but my flowers, they're not alive at all. Uh, but I mean, I like spring and summer. I like pretty flowers and leaves on the trees. All right, I, I see our high frequency word help and new, help and new. All right, let's take a look. I see he's talking to a boy over here, talking to a lady over here. Let's see what happens. Ben says, hello, Sam, here is an ad for you. Those are his exact words in those quotation marks. The ad will help Sam fix his bike. All right, so the, the ad says Mike's Bike Repair. Oh, I see, and this boy, his name is Sam. We did learn that in the text. And I see Sam has a flat tire. Do you see that? Can't ride your bike with a flat tire. Hello, Meg, says Ben. I have a box for you. The box has a new dress. All right, so this lady's name is Meg. So we meet Sam and Meg and he's delivering mail. Uh, ben gives Sam an ad over here for his bike and the ad will help Sam fix his bike. Uh, and then he gives Meg a box and the box has a dress in it. And the, here's a little kitten drinking something. All right, next page. On this page right here, I see a high frequency, high frequency word new and again. Ben did his job. He will head back to get new mail. Ben will be here again. Okay. Wait. I skipped this page. Oh, Miss Lewis. I, uh, you just got to get used to Miss Lewis. Crazy, crazy woman over here. Warning. <laughs> okay, let me start over. I see on page eight and nine, I see the word use, there, and there. Those are high frequency words. Where is Jen? Ben has a letter for Jen. Jen is not here. Ben will use this box. So her mailbox is on her house. Ben says, hello, Rex. There is no letter for Rex. There is no ad or box. Rex is still glad to see Ben. So Ben has a letter for Jen over here on this page, but Jen is not home. Ben leaves letters in a box um, and Ben does not have uh, mail for Rex. Rex is the dog. 
Uh, but he has, look here in his hand, a treat. He has a treat for him. And I can see by the look on Rex's face, he's so happy, so happy to get a treat. So I do see in the picture on page nine that Ben gives Rex a treat and he is glad. It didn't say it in the text, but I'm using the picture to help me. All right, now I'm going back to that page I had already been to, but it's okay, I'm gonna read it again. Ben did his job. He will head back to get new mail, that high frequency word new. Ben will be here again. And there's another high frequency word again. Okay, so remember our story elements are um, different parts of the story. Uh, at the end here, Ben, he did his job and everybody just loves Ben. They're just waving, bye, bye Ben. Uh, he gave, he gives mail to the people and uh, he goes back to his truck and then he'll be back tomorrow with more mail. Um, so we did talk about the setting earlier when we uh, met Miss Deb with her flowers. We talked about uh, the story takes place in a neighborhood and with houses and we discussed that the neighborhood is probably or the season is probably summer or spring because we see leaves on the trees and the beautiful flowers. We met some characters. Uh, of course, we met Ben, he's the mailman. We met uh, Ms. Deb and we met, um, let me scroll over. Oh, we met Sam and we met Meg. Uh, there's also other neighbors in the pictures, but we didn't get their names. Um, he did go to Jen's house, but she wasn't home. Oh, and the dog, the dog's name is Rex. We did get to meet Rex, but here's some other neighbors we didn't meet, but the main characters are Ben and Ms. Deb and Sam and Meg, uh, Jen, who's not home, but we know he delivers mail to Jen and uh, Rex, the dog. Okay, uh, at the beginning of the story, I wanna talk about sequence of events, the uh, order that they happened. First, Ben, he brings the mail to people. Uh, then along the way, he visits with some people while he delivers the mail. Uh, next, he continues uh, to deliver mail and he gives Rex a treat. And finally, he heads back for new mail. I enjoy reading about the mailman. And I can think about the mailman and think about uh, Ben and I can think about my mailman walking down the street and giving mail. And he, my mailman's nice too. He always says hi. If I'm in the driveway and he has mail for me, he gives it to me. Um, I, can, I can relate to this story. Do not forget to take your AR test and do your best. If you want to highlight your words, that would be wonderful. Uh, maybe act out the story with your family or your siblings or even your neighbors uh, before you take the test. And do, I, I can't wait. Do a good job. Don't forget to take it because we're looking at your scores. Thank you. Bye.